So what was the process for you getting uh, hired at Skybound? What was the process like ending up over there? Um, Robert just called me. He said, hey, man, would you ever, you know, would you ever consider uh, other pastures? And I, I said, this is right about the time when <laughs> I, I really would. Yeah. And we just got to talking. And like, I really liked the company he built there. You know, it sort of built up around a guy who created his own thing with, with Tony um, and then built out a company that sort of prided itself on treating creators the same way, you know, they always wanted to be treated and all that. So there was a, a big creator on, or a big focus on, you know, good treatment of creators, yep. which is very important to me. And, and I like just the company that they built around it and the fact that they were trying to do things that weren't just totally reliant on Roberts. You know, because sometimes when you, when, you, when you get to be a big talent in this business and you start your own thing, it can be, become just a vanity project. And this was never that. Robert's like, I want to build a company that is a company that can sustain itself. So I don't want Walkie Dead to be the thing that carries this company. I mean, it will for a while, and that's what's going to help sell it. But I want it to be a company that does all these other things and doesn't rely on me. And so I think he was really smart about that from the start. And yeah, like I said, I love those guys. Like They, they all treated me great. They're a great bunch of people there. And so... I have no, certainly no regrets. My only regret is, is leaving them at a time uh, before I really accomplished what I'd hoped to there. Yeah. And, like, was your goal to go there when you kind of set off there? Was your goal to kind of make comics there and, like, bring new, bring new lights into create your own stuff? Or? Yeah, they, well, they had a specific thing that they wanted me to do. And since it didn't quite come to pass now, I don't know if it still will. And so I won't, uh, won't, I won't steal any thunder <laughs> um, in case there ever is an announcement for them on that. But... Uh, yeah, like they, like I said, they, they gave me a lot of birth just to try to develop this thing, and it was great. And also, it allowed me to work from home most days of the week, which is also uh, <laughs> welcome after being in an office for so many years. Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, I talked to, uh, to Jim about how Robert originally pitched The Walking Dead, and to me, it's all really fascinating yeah. how he was able to, to sneak it in there and kind of get The Walking Dead, and, and because of that, has gone through and made himself a, a partner over at Image. He's... He's a really unique guy in that he's kind of sitting on the mountaintop of comics right now, and yet he stayed he stayed humble and stayed just a genuine guy, which I that part I really liked, and the fact that he was really involved in every detail of everything. If a logo on a thing wasn't right, he would run it tweaked or bumped up here, and just sort of the little details you wouldn't think he would bother with. He he really cared about sort of figuring out every aspect of a comic story and its aesthetics to figure out what's the best way to present this material. That's, that's amazing.